So in my life, I try to avoid as far as possible what I might describe as teachery moments. And what I mean by that is a teacher doing those kind of cliche classic things such as the bells for me, not for you, or whatever it happens to be, right? Well, I'm going to do one right now because this is a proper bugbear for me. Can I please stress to you that the word axes is plural and that when we talk about each axis individual, it is an axis. Okay, so the axis is singular. I cannot tell you how many times I've had to correct that uh, for people. So I just wanted to make sure before we get started on anything else that that's clear. Now, that passed and that out of the way and you having put up with me, I want to define for you angular motion. Okay, now you may have previously come across this concept. You may not, but this is my definition of angular motion. It's going to support our learning in this case. It's when a body... And we're not necessarily talking about a human body here. It's when a, an object is what we mean by a body or part body. So therefore a body or a part of an object or a part of an object moves in a circle or part circle. Okay, moves in a circle or part circle. So when we are talking about angular motion, it is about the rotational circular nature of movement. And that is what we're going to get to today. And I also want to stress to you before we get cracking that all, all rotation in the human body, all rotation occurs at joints. Okay, so bear that in mind. I'm really going to drill that point in one particular part of this video. But that's my kind of intro. With that out of the way, let's get cracking. I would immediately like to show you these three images. And you might be thinking, oh, that's a lot of information on one go. And who is this mannequin type figure? Well, these are our axes. Oh, let, let me be clear. These are our primary axes of rotation. There are many axes of rotation in the human body, but these are our primary ones. And I'll come back to that point in a second. So let me introduce you to the first one. This is what's called the longitude, that's a U, <laughs> longitudinal axis. Here we go, longitudinal axis. You can see that this axis, it moves down through the, from the top of the body, down through the bottom the body. Now the intuition I want you to grab here is imagine this was a real person which by the way standing in the anatomical standing position feet flat down palms facing forward. Imagine if we were to rotate this solid rod in this direction. Can you imagine that that individual would twist and would turn almost like a 180 or a 360 depending on how far you twisted it. If you twisted it back in the other direction clockwise this time can you imagine this person would twist so the thing i'd like you to do is start to be considering sporting examples of movements that that would relate to could we argue for example that we could be talking about a discus thrower in the circle could we be talking about a pivot in netball could we be talking about a slalom skier that's an, e. That's an M there. Slalom skier turning a gate, for example. Can you see how this longitudinal axis is rotation or rotation and longitudinal axis are examples of these? Think about, um, yeah, think about, you know, changing direction in hockey. These are all examples. Uh, a 180 or 360 in uh, twist in trampolining, for example. These are all examples of rotation here. Now we're going to move on to this next one. And can I stress here, if you're not studying with OCR, these will become wrong for you at this point. This is an OCR specific tutorial. OCR refer to this axis here as the transverse axis. Now you'll notice it goes through the body, through the navel, through the central mass of the body from hip to hip. Can I also stress to you that there is an equivalent transverse axis here, there's another one here, another one here, there's one here, there's one. These are all transverse axes. Okay, now we'll look at the primary one, which is the one that goes through the hip here. Now, if this was to rotate, in this case, the clockwise direction, what sort of motion would this performer go through? Well, they go through like a somersault, right? Can you sort of see that? Or they might do something like a, a front roll. Or, I, meant, I meant that to be a forward roll, by the way, not a front roll, you, get, you know what I mean. This might be someone doing, for example, on a trampoline, they might do a seat drop. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, what do you mean a seat drop, James? Well, imagine you twisted the bar in this direction now, the legs would effectively come up into that position and that would be sitting, you know, effectively landing a seat drop. These are examples of rotation around the transverse axis, more of which in a second. And finally, we've got here the axis which OCR refer to, and I am using that language specifically, frontal. Now, personally, and I might do it in a second, I actually call this the anterior posterior axis. And by the way, that will be absolutely fine if you prefer using that term, you can use that in your exam. This is its more sort of technical name, but let's refer to it the frontal here. The frontal axis through the body 
And effectively, imagine if we were to twist this bar in this direction. It, you know, oh, by the way, I meant to say this is like a football player. You might notice over here. But if you notice here, what would happen is that this person would effectively sort of spin and their head would come downwards. This is a classic example of a cartwheel. Now you could say something like a star jump as well, because of course we've got a frontal axis going through the shoulder, through the shoulder, through the hip, etc. But the other one I really like to give here, there's lots of things like uh, dance moves, for example, but I like a diving save in football. I really like that one. Because you can imagine this performer sort of like springing off into that direction, rotating around this axis, springing off in that direction. That might be an example of a save in football. Now to finish off here, whoops, that wasn't what I meant to do. Finish off here, that wasn't what I meant to do either. Um, I wanted to put these examples in here for you folks. Let me put, <laughs> that didn't go to plan. Let me put this back, you see how I use layers. So can I just stress then, we've got here our longitudinal axis. If I was to get my ruler out, let's actually do that. Let me get my ruler out here. If I was to put a sort of solid iron bar through this performer, let's see if we can sort of angle it correctly like this. Uh, about there. Can you see now how rotation around the axis, that longitudinal axis, is this is the turning action in the discus circle? Can you, if I was to bring this one here and to put it through the hips now here, can you see how, for example, what's happening here is rotation around the transverse axis? And can you see it's harder for me to demonstrate this one, and I'll go with a lighter colour this time, uh, something which is like, I don't know, like a purple. Can you imagine, for example, that we've got the axis of rotation almost passing through the navel there and kind of coming out the navel the other side. Can you see how kind of rotation there is happening around there? Rotation is happening around there. Rotation is happening around there. So these primary axes represent that notion. Now, can I just bring you back to one of the points I made earlier? I am talking about primary axes of rotation, all of which pass through the center of mass. Can I reiterate for you that this performer has a transverse axis running through their knee, their uh, elbow, their shoulder. That this performer, for example, this performer here, has a frontal axis which is specifically acting through their hip. Okay, These are joint specific axes and I would encourage you to consider that because of course you can, for example, uh, rotate part of the body without rotating all of the body and that still occurs around axes and they will become more specific, joint specific axes in that case. Right, I think that's what I wanted to share with you. Hope that's useful. Thanks.